So today I'm going to show you how to add an image onto your tag and how to trace it to cut it out. So I'm going to open up my tag three. That's this one right here. And I'm going to sketch on my front view. Okay. Now, if we go over to here, it says insert, and if I go up to image, it lets me find the image. So, this one you should have already downloaded from the Google Classroom. Okay. And it'll be wherever you saved it to, most likely your student account. Okay, and I'll say piece.png. Open that. Now, it, it's wondering where do I want, want to place it? And off the, right off the bat, I can tell this is going to be way too big. Okay, so if I just click once, okay. Now, if I keep clicking, it's going to keep making more and more of these uh, images. So I'm going to hit escape, and that drops it. So, to get this to be the right size, I'm going to go to my dimension tool. And I'm going to click on this edge right here. Click once, move up, click again. And this is going to be 1.4 inches. Okay. And I'm going to hit escape one more time. And now I can click and move this to be exactly where I want to be. Okay. And I'm going to try to center as best I can. If you want to get it perfectly centered, you can go back to dimension click on the side edge here and click on the origin and this would be 0.7 okay now that I have it exactly where I want I don't want this to move again so I'm gonna click here where it says fix and I want There, I want to fix that top edge. Okay. Now, it's time for me to start tracing. So you can see that some of these lines are going to be straight and some of the lines are curved. So I'm going to start with my line. And you want to zoom in on this to get it as close as you can. So using the wheel of your mouse, okay, try to get, all right, so that looks to be pretty good. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out and then zoom in over here. Okay, that looks good. Zoom out, zoom in. All right, now this next edge is going to be curved. So I'm going to have to go up here and select my arc. Okay, so if I, okay, so again, Let's zoom in. Okay, you want to click on the end of your line. It'll turn green. Zoom out. Let's zoom in down here, and that'll also snap and turn green. Okay, now it's asking, okay, how much do you want it curved? And just try to match the curve. There. So that section is done. So I have to do the same for the other sections. So use my line tool. Let's zoom in. Best I can. Okay. Take your time. Okay. And then I'm going to go up to my arc. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go up and click there. And yeah, just try to match it as best you can. Same thing down here. So I have my line tool. Start right there. Go up to there. And there. And go back to my arc here, click there, and then try to match it, okay, and over 
here, go back to my line tool. And if it keeps snapping to a place you don't want, you can just hold the control key down and then it won't snap anymore. And then back to my arc. And I'm holding the control key down right now. Okay, so I have my four areas and sketched out. I'm going to finish my sketch. Now I want this to cut in, but I don't want to cut it all the way in because I'm going to add some paint in here. So when I go up to extrude, okay, and I select my four areas, okay, again, it thinks I want to have them come out, but I want to cut them. Now I don't want to cut them all the way through. Now this was a quarter inch okay, thick. So I'm just going to do 0 0.05. And you can see now it cuts in a little bit. It doesn't go all the way through. So I'm going to click OK. And now I have my piece keychain tag. And I'm just going to go up here and save as instead of tag 3, tag piece save and you return that in.